community, I'm Allison Whitworth, Safety and Aquatics Coordinator for Titan Recreation. Today we're going to have a look at the freestyle. We're going to break it down into components for you so that you can learn each part individually. We'll provide you skill drills to improve each of those components and um, some strengthening exercises so that you can get total body strong. If you're a beginner swimmer or an intermediate swimmer, the skills and drills we'll show you today will help improve your performance and your technique. If you're an advanced swimmer, we hope that you'll find some tidbits of knowledge that will help improve your stroke, make you more efficient, or some exercises that can make you a stronger swimmer. Let's get started. One of the most important things in swimming is to have a strong core and a streamlined body. I'm gonna show you what being streamlined means and a way that we can improve our streamlineness is to have good strength in our core. A little bit later, we're gonna show you some exercises that will help with strengthening the total body, especially the core. And I highly recommend that you take a class through Titan Recreation, such as Guts, Butts, and Thighs, or F45, to get that body strong. So let's get in that nice streamlined position so that you become an efficient swimmer. The way to practice your streamlineness is just to press off the wall, make your body as long and tight as possible so that you're close to the surface of the water, which makes it easier to kick and easier to place your arms in the water. So here's what I mean by being streamlined. So keep your body long and tight close to the surface of the water and just practice those front glides. If you're teaching children, you can do things like tell them to be Superman, tell them to act like they're flying with their hands or be a torpedo. So long, tight, nice body, close to the surface for the freestyle is streamlining. Let's take a look at head position. Our head is in a nice neutral position just as if you're walking, our eyes are looking somewhat down and sometimes forward. And from this position, our head would be here if we're lying flat on the water. And from a side view, your head would be here. When it's time to breathe, as your arm pulls through the water, if you watch your thumb through the water, your head comes here for a quick breath. Your elbow is high. Your ear is on the water. Your mouth is out. We take a quick breath in and we turn our head sideways. Back to our streamlined position. Let's have a look at a couple of breaths. Well, since I can't talk underwater, let me show you from the front view before I swim a little bit. Your face is gonna be down. As I pull my arm through the water and I need to breathe, I wanna exhale before I turn my head to inhale. So your face is down, your eyes are forward. Breathe. <gasps> and that's our breathing. Let's have a look at it while we're swimming. what you can do is either hold on with one hand or two hand and put your ear down in the water keep your mouth out and just practice inhaling and exhaling while you kick don't lift your head up that's the beginner mistake stay nice and streamlined ear on the surface mouth out chin toward the shoulder as you get a little better you can put your elbow out like this because this is where breathing will occur And as you get better, you can use the same skill drill. And now you can swim with an arm and breathe with an arm. You should learn how to breathe to both sides. So practice to both sides. So here's what I mean. I'm gonna swim with my swimming arm and breathe with my breathing arm. So this is another skill you can do. Practice it while you're kicking. Swim. Breathe. Okay, 
lastly, if you don't have a kickboard handy, you can always practice by holding on to the side of the pool. The same thing, you'll just put your ear sideways and practice kicking. Make sure your head is down, your ear is down, your mouth is out. Then you can practice kicking like this. And then you can just practice putting your face in. Breathe, face in for five seconds. And that's breathing. Let's move on to our arms. The freestyle involves an alternating arm stroke. So when you're pulling through the water, as your hand enters the water, your thumb side is slightly down and your palm is out. You don't want to slap the water like this, but rather cut into the water, fully extend, and then pull the arm, the hand toward the belly button and away. And as the elbow comes out, the elbow is always higher than the hand. So during the recovery, which is the part of putting your arm back in the water, during the recovery, your elbow stays higher than your hand. We want to keep our left arm on the left half of our body and the right arm on the right arm. So in other words, don't cross over like this. You're wasting energy and you're not pulling the water that you need to pull that's in line with your body. So again, let's look at it from the front. This is our streamlined position. We're going to enter the water, pull like a flattened S. Elbow comes out higher than the hand, and we reach forward back to our streamline as far as we can extend before we start our pull. So let's look at just the arms. We've already discussed breathing. Again, high elbows, lower hands, reach out in front, stay on this right arm on the right half of the body, left arm on the left half of the body. Let's have a go at it. one arm at a time and pull your arm through the water, lift your elbow high and drag your fingers across the surface of the water. This teaches you to keep your elbow higher than your hands. If, you, uh, if you're not strong enough to do it without a kickboard, you can do it with a kickboard. You can practice on the side of the pool. And then you can graduate to swimming um, down the lane line. So let's have a look at finger drag drills. Remember with finger drag drills to drag your fingers, keep your elbows high, and if it's too hard to do without a kickboard, you can do it holding onto the side of the pool or with a kickboard like this. arms is a, is a one-arm slap or catch-up drill. You start with both hands forward in your streamlined position. You swim with one hand, slap or catch up to this hand. Swim with your left, slap and go. All right, this brings us to our final component of the freestyle, the flutter kick. Now remember the flutter kick is not a major source of propulsion during the stroke. That comes from the arm movements. It will, however, help with keeping the body streamlined, maintaining that streamlined position, and it does add a little bit to propulsion. The flutter kick is super important to understand that the kick generates from the hip, not the knee. So you don't wanna do the flutter kick, for instance, like you're kicking a soccer ball and using the knee. We wanna use the big, strong muscles of the hip and thigh. Your, your body is in the streamlined position, your toes are pointed, your legs are long, um, but they're relaxed. So your feet are 
floppy, I call them floppy clown feet. So relax your feet, point your toes, generate the kick from the hip, and there's just a soft knee bend. I'm gonna go ahead and get the kickboard and show you just the kick. The kick is somewhat close to the surface. Your legs are close together, long, toes pointed, back arch slightly, nice streamlined position. opportunity to see all the components that make up the freestyle stroke. It's very important that as a swimmer you stay flexible and work on total body conditioning and strength and practice, practice, practice. So keep those elbows high, get that flutter kick going, keep that body streamlined and enjoy swimming the freestyle with Titan Recreation. We hope to see you soon.